One of the most viewed songs on the channel to date is the Drunken Sailor Sea Shanty. Like many of the vintage songs I perform on the channel, this song in particular has a rather interesting history. But before we get into that, let's talk about the sea shanty in general. Because, hey, who doesn't love a good sea shanty? There's a reason sea shanties are so popular today. It represents a time in human history that will never be repeated. Many call it the golden age of travel by sea. It was a time when the ocean represented the great unknown of earthly exploration. From around 1545 to 1945, travel on ships was adventurous and the most exciting. This included commerce and travel to the New World in the mid-1500s to the ocean conflict and adventure in the Pacific campaign of World War II in the mid-20th century. A great total of 400 years we viewed ocean travel in a certain light that still holds true to this day. For better or for worse, ocean travel is not as action-packed or as adventurous as it was. We don't have pirates sailing the seven seas pillaging rum and gold these days. Uh, unless, you know, it's in a video game. But still, such tales of days long past fills the heart with excitement, despite how historically accurate or inaccurate they may be. Singing was certainly a part of the seafaring life to try and give sailors something to do while working or taking it easy on their long journeys. Such practices are as old as sailing itself. Enter humor, storytelling, and music all combined into one team effort, the sea shanty. Most of the crew, if willing, sober, drunk, or all of the above, would take part in a choir of proud, loud, and rhythmic singing to their heart's contents. Got to do something to take the edge off of scurvy, right? The Drunken Sailor Sea Shanty was one of many songs that have a rather cloudy origin. The Drunken Sailor Sea Shanty shares its tune with the Irish song, uh, uh, I'm not even going to try that one, and was most likely sung as early as the 1830s. The song is actually one of the most recognized sea shanties, and has had some form of popularity throughout the past 100 years. The sea shanty has been recorded by various artists, especially around the turn of the 20th century. The sea shanty has been called a folk song or reel. Strangely enough, the song has been modified by many that have performed it. There are many different methods, pronunciations, and forms of the song that have been sung for generations, showing just how multicultural the song truly is. From different forms such as he Roar Up She Rouses, or Hey Ho Up She Rises, etc., as well as the pronunciations of early being sung as Earl I, not to mention different lyrics altogether. The fact that the song has been through so many changes to the lyrics, yet almost no change to the tune or melody, is interesting in itself. But most of the people like me of my generation heard the song for the first time on an iconic American TV show called SpongeBob SquarePants. Imagine going from the wooden sailing ships of the 1800s to a televised version of an animated kitchen sponge working as a fry cook. Goes to show just how unpredictable the future can be, doesn't it? Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this bit of music history.